Um, Marcelli and Veliakova, Richie. Um, we see, we see uh, Veliakova through two tremendous body shots. There doesn't seem to be very much of them being thrown and uppercuts, to be honest. Mm. That's why it was such a good shot, wasn't it? That left up to the body. I think it was probably the best shot of the contest from the losing boxer, but it was a cracker. Yeah, and we should see more shots, shouldn't we, to the body, I think. Yeah, they are so effective. It's a bit neglected, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, they're so effective. I mean, I don't know what you think, but in my opinion, a good body shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's harder to recover from. Yeah, absolutely. I'd sooner take them to the chin than the head than the, the body any day. So over in the red corner, we're in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. And Kelly Harrington is the Irish representative. Just the second Irish boxer to make it through to a world championship final. And can she join Katie Taylor as a world championship gold medalist from that proud fighting nation? Her opponent is the Chinese representative of the tournament number three seed ranked 14th in the world, Yang Wen Lu. Fifth contest of the tournament for Kelly Harrington. She's boxed brilliantly so far, never more so than against Sarah Kelly yesterday, where she demonstrated a whole bunch of variety and versatility on the front foot. Wonderful punch picking as well. Yang Wen Lu, comfortable victor over Sky Nicholson of Australia. Kelly Harrington must be full of confidence given the manner in which she's boxed throughout the tournament, but particularly in that semi-final. She was enjoying herself yesterday and, and she's had an absolutely amazing tournament this, um, this championship. She'll be going in there full of confidence. Um, she's been boxing well, hasn't she, Harrington? Fair play. She's in good, against a good opponent in Yang from China. This won't be easy. She was similarly impressive yesterday against Sky Nicholson from Australia. So dominant was Harrington that she had a couple of 10-8 rounds scored in her favour. Her victory over Sarah Kelly of Canada made her look one-paced, pedestrian, and she replicated that against a tournament number three seed. So we're underway. The 64 kilogram light welterweight gold medal bout between Ireland's Kelly Harrington. The boxer wearing red and the boxer wearing blue is China's Yang Wen Lu, the reigning Asian Championship gold medalist, having picked up that title in China last year, winning four out of four contests to claim that, champ that continental championship gold. And both of these boxers starting this gold medal bout in bright fashion. They're exchanging jabs there. Plenty of feint, plenty of movement. Harrington showing her ability on the back foot, but two loose-limbed, skillful operators here, Richard. I think Yang has obviously got to step on the gas a little bit and, and close that gap down, and, and I just showed you there with the shots that she's landed. That's what she's got to do. Harrington's got to get her timing right. She seems to whip the shots around the guard of her opponent, who's, who's on, on, on rushing. But with, by doing that, you've got to trigger your opponent off maybe with a fast jab. And you've got to be able to adjust your feet and bring her onto the shots, Tash. She's skillful, Harrington, but this girl, Yang, is a handful, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. They've both come out. They've both had good starts. They both look very loose. Um, and they're getting the shots off. I think if Kelly just went, was a bit more direct with her shots, she'd have more success. Two stylists competing for light welterweight gold. Good left jab from Harrington, but look at that for a counter left from Wang. From Yang. Falling short with the punches there on that forward for eight. Was Yang. In a contest like this, you've got to start quick, both physically and mentally. So when your opponent does come on rush in the way Yang is. Harrington has got to react very, very quickly to that and adjust the feet. And like I say, it's it's a mental adjustment as just as much as it is a physical one. You've got to be quick off the mark in the opening round. See if we can listen into the Irish corner. Where's your face? You're reacting, okay? Keep fainting, but people don't go behind. Keep fainting, keep fainting, keep fainting. Yes, he jumps all the time, I told you. Peter, you finish the job, fantastic. 
Yeah. Eh? But more job. More job. Yeah. More job. They yeah. need yeah. to raise jobs. Can to jobs. Station, right? so what the Irish coach is talking about there. He wants um, Harrington to use that jab to feint, feint, and what we call trigger off. So trigger off the opponents to come forward, then bring her onto the shots. He wants her to use a jab in the form of a feint a lot more. And it's Yang who has taken the opening round across the board. Both moments had, both boxers had moments of success. It's Yang, Yang's work favoured by the judges. Into the second round as the referee gives both boxers a stern talking to. Harrington, referred to as you. No slapping was the instruction from the referee. Switch to the southpaw stance to begin this second round. It's an asset that she has in her locker. Just got to feel a little bit tangled there, and Yang took advantage to cuff her with a couple of shots. I think, sorry, Mr. No, go on, go on, Tash, you, you carry on. I think the slapping comes from what Richie says, where she's throwing them over and trying to get them over and down onto Yang. It's sometimes connecting with the wrong part of the glove. The inside, maybe, yeah. Also, when she's boxing as a southpaw, Harrington, when she throws her left hand, again, the left leg comes comes around, so she's got to watch out about coming square. Good left-right combination from Yang. Catching Harrington. She's continuing to switch her feet, currently operating as a southpaw. Again, plenty of fainting. Looking to get something, trigger a response off which they can work. Yeah, I'm just taking her time, trying to force something, trying to make something happen, and then countering what Harrington does. Yeah, again, she just, as she threw the left hand, but as a southpaw, her left leg came round. She got away with it. She's got to watch what she's doing there, because the feet will cross at some stage, and that's when you can get caught with a shot as you're walking forward. Not much clean work during that coming together on top of the logo here. Tidy tangle at close range. I do think with Harrington going to Southport, it's confused Yang a little bit. She's not so much uh, on that front foot anymore. She's only coming forward when Harrington is the orthodox boxer. Good right hand in that final exchange of misses, really. It was a good final right hand by Yang. And in a round such as that, could well be enough to tilt the round one way or the other. It's a very, very close round again. It's hard to score. I think it was a better round for Harry to, to be quite honest to you, Tash, it was a close round. With her being southpaw, she just, just changed things around a little bit there, didn't she? She, she? she did keep on coming square and getting, getting, getting caught, so it'll be interesting to see what the judges say. But she had a bit more success. Um, she didn't, she didn't use her jab like a corner wanted to. Maybe they'll say that again. So, Harrington getting the share of the round from Judge B, but it's a two-point advantage now for Judges A and C in favour of Yang. So into the second half of the contest, the boxer wearing red, the reigning six-time Ireland National Championship gold medalist Kelly Harrington had a better second round because she took the round for Judge B. That made it 19 points apiece on the scorecard of that particular observer. But Yang, the tournament number three seed, took the second round as well. So it's a two-point advantage for judges A and C in favour of Yang. Both of these boxers contesting their first world championships Harrington, one of eight Irish boxers here. China sent a full complement of ten. Ireland will have seven boxers going through to Rio. Katie Taylor, the sole female representative, whereas China, one of only two nations, along with Morocco, to have women's boxers in all three of the weight classes will be that will be contested in the 2016 Olympics. Yang working a little bit better with a jab now. Still... In and out work from the Chinese boxer. It was a little bit better from Harrington. 
But like you said earlier, Tash, sometimes Harrington trying to bring the punches around the guard, she, sometimes she lacks the accuracy. And you spoke about that earlier, didn't you, about her. She should be more direct, more straight punches. When she's throwing a jab straight through it, it's successful and it brings her onto the backhand. Um, but for me, Harrington have good head movement in this round. Um, Harrington playing flat-footed stalker at the moment, trying to walk her opponent down. Wang's putting, putting the pressure on. Sorry, Yang was putting the pressure on without actually throwing punches. She's getting her feet in there, getting her feet in there. Harrington doesn't know whether she's going to throw or not. He's throwing, and then Yang's, uh, Wang's content. it. And back with the counters, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, that's what she's trying to do. Good right hand from Harrington just before the bell. Remember, at the end of two rounds, it was tied up. One round apiece, 19 points apiece, but a two-round had two points advantage for judges A and C in favour of Yang. Yang was a bit more flowy. You can do better. Okay, you move into there. Don't escape from her. You did when she comes. When she comes, left hook, right hook. Obviously, there he's talking about. She want, he wants her to punch as she comes, um, but. I think, he, like he says, he's, she's got to trigger that that attack off with those feints still. Again, it's a close round, isn't it? There's not a lot in the round. The eye-catching shot is coming from both boxes here and there, so it's, it's a close one again. So this time, Judge A favouring Yang. So it's a one-point advantage for Judges A and B in favour of Yang. And a three-point advantage for Judge C, all in favour of the tournament number one seed. So a big round here from Harrington. If she can turn those judges' A and B scorecards in her favour and make it even on those scorecards with a 10-9 round, then we could enter the realm of countback. It gets very interesting. So still everything to fight for here in the fourth and final round of this 64-kilogram light welterweight gold medal bout. Harrington still within touching distance of championship gold, but she needs a big round here to impress judges A and B. There's a big left hook from Yang, though. What she doesn't want to do is come tight and get 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 tense and get too eager because Yang will just pick it off. She's got she's flowing. She's got her movement going. Yang very clever with that front foot, isn't she? She just keeps fainting with that front foot, stamping it down as if she's going to attack, but. She's only doing that because she wants Harrington to lead off first, so she's trying to convince her that she's going to attack, but she doesn't. She slams the foot down, it's a feint, and there you go, see, and that was an example there. Harrington just led with that right hand and fell short, and then Yang comes back with the counter. Long counter, counter right hand around the corner from Yang. Good left hand out of the southpaw stance from Harrington, no. Just over 30 seconds to go in this fourth and final round. Behind a high-held guard, it was a flat-footed move forward once again from Harrington. High drama here in this battle for championship gold. No boxer wants to incur the wrath of the referee and pick up a warning in the closing stages. This contest still in the balance. Burrowing away with punches to the body is Harrington. Ten-second clapper sounds. Who can produce a big punch? It's Harrington who lands a long corkscrew right. Trying to work away with punches to the body. Close round once again. Yang feels that she has done enough. But the contest was balanced on a knife edge coming into the fourth and final round. How will the judges see it? Close. Yeah. Close contest and the close round tash at the end there, isn't it? It Either was, way. yeah. It was hard to choose. If, if Yang just had that, just a bit, she was a bit more loose and uh, had a bit more movement, and seemed to be a bit more in control. And we'll see whether that's what the, the ref, uh, sorry, the judges were looking for. It's Yang. A split decision victor over Ireland's Kelly Harrington. What a brilliant performance from the 26-year-old from Dublin. She becomes Ireland's second medalist at a world...